Hi guys! Um, sorry I don't look so hot. Um, I'm not going out today, so there's really no point in me getting ready. So this is how I look um, without any makeup on. Um, I wanted to do a handbag collection. My best friend did one and it looks so fun to do because I have so many handbags. It is insane. So I'm just going to get started and I'm going to show you my handbags. Um, I'm only going to show you the ones that I either like or I use more, only because if I showed you all of them, this video would probably last about an hour or more. So, this is one of them. This is a Longchamp bag, but it is a copy. It is, it looks legit though. I bought it for like 20 bucks, and... I like this one, but I mean, I'm pretty dressy, so I don't know if I'd use this for school or something, but that's one. It's dark blue. Then I also have a Segal Yard bag, which is also a copy because I don't want to pay nearly that much for a bag like this because I think for the real one, this bag is like $1,000 or something. So that's this one. It's blue, and you can see like right there it says Segal Yard. And then I have... Another fake bag. A lot of my bags are fake, um, but I do have some real ones, which I will show you, um, which is this one. It is the Louis Vuitton bag. I don't know the name of it, but um, you see a lot of them around. It's the one with the little tassel things on the side, and it just looks like that. Um, I got that one downtown for like uh, $75. It was like Chinatown in San Francisco, so that's pretty cool. Then I got this bag from my old work, which looks like this. It's really cute. I actually really like this bag. I don't think I'd ever get rid of it. And there's like a little scuff right here. It's so sad. But that's what it looks like. The interior is so cute. It's like a flower interior. It's by the brand called Neela Anthony. Um, the inside is green. I mean, the outside right here is green. It's like a chevron print two pockets on the side and then a long strap as well but this long strap actually belongs to this bag see how the straps are missing um it's like a little hobo kind of bag with studs on it I love this bag it just flaps open like that and it has like a whole bunch of compartments there's no name for this bag but I also got this one from my old work and then I also have this bag that I showed in a haul video which is just a little regular bag I got from Marshalls. And then I also have... Uh, sorry, I also have this bag, which I also showed in a haul video. This one is the same one my best friend actually has, but it's in a peach color by Urban Expressions. It's a really cute bag. It has a chain on it. So that's really cute. And then I also, for my... Oh, I also have this one, which I guess is a copy of Chanel. Looks like that, and it just opens up, and it opens like this, and it has the little pocket in here, and then you also open here, which also has the pocket in here. Um, and it usually, I mean, you can do a short strap, like a double short strap or a long strap, but I like the long strap because it looks cuter as a small bag. And then I also have this one. It's by Liz Claiborne. I bought it from a local vintage boutique. It was called American Vintage. It just looks like this. And then there's the little logo. This is a cute little bag. And then I also got this one, which I think this is a copy of a brand name bag, but I'm not sure what the name of that bag is. But it's this one. It's a bright neon pink bag with this cute interior by Street Level. Um, I've only used this bag once, but it's a pretty cute bag. I mean, I use it when I go out sometimes. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. And then I also have this bag, which is a deluxe bag. It's by Deluxe. The interior is really pretty. It's like a bright like satin blue. And there's the logo there. And then it just like hooks in the front with this big like gem. And you just twist the gem to lock it. And it has a small short like little chain strap. And then it also has a long one which goes like that. And then my next bag is a 
Michael Kors bag. Looks like this. Um, I got this one from an outlet. I think it was about $100. $120. Um, I used to use this a lot, but I have a lot of bags, so now I just like barely use them, and I just basically use like one bag at a time. Um, but this one is really cute. It's gold with gold hardware. And then I also have this one, which is a Louis Vuitton little like satchel bag like this. Let me see. Looks like that. It has the little shoulder thing. I don't know if this one's real or not, but like the leather on here, it doesn't get like it doesn't like look how a fake one would look because if you looked at the Louis Vuitton one like it's just a light strap and actually my straps turned blue on that one but this one like for for like real Louis Vuitton bags their leather straps get darker they don't like get bad or anything like that and this one the straps and the like brown parts they were getting darker so I think this one actually might be a real one I'm not really sure I don't know, but that's this one. I really do like this one. This one actually holds a lot of stuff. And then I have this one that I showed in um, a video that I was currently using, but I'm not using it at the moment. And this one is a Rebecca Minkoff bag with the Rebecca Minkoff logo there. And then I also have my other Rebecca Minkoff bag, which is the long one, the Mini Mac Clutch with the big buckle in the front. So that's what this one looks like. I really like this one. Um, it doesn't hold, I mean it holds a lot, like I can put my huge wallet in here. If I put a smaller wallet it would probably fit a lot more, but for right now I'm using a big wallet, so that's what that one looks like. And then I have a Tory Burch purse that I bought. Um, yeah, this is my toy. This is my second like most expensive bag that I bought. I invested in it and I love it except for the fact that the hardware on here it like makes the bag really heavy. So my bag gets like really heavy even if I don't have anything in it cuz like this has nothing in it right now and alone it's already pretty like heavy. But it's such a nice bag. I sometimes use it for school. I put my notebook in it. The leather is like really nice, obviously. You get what you pay for. So, that's what that one looks like. It has a Two short straps and then one long strap. Um, and then I have, this was my first bag that I ever purchased that was expensive. It's a Mark, by Marc Jacobs bag and it's the little, like it's the small little like side bag I guess. I don't know the names of any of these bags and I'm totally not helping you guys out. It kind of sucks but I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> but it has like the opening, like the zipper opening, and it's a real pocket. It's actually unzipped, but then you open it in here, and it has the Marc Jacobs logo. And then I also have this one. I originally wanted the small one of this one, and they didn't have it, so I got the big one. And then like a couple months later, they came out with a small one, and I was like so bummed out. And for the longest time, I really wanted to just buy that one too, and then probably sell this one, but I just like got over it. So now I'm just keeping this one. It's another Mark by Marks. It's this big bag right here. It looks like that. It's like a taupish color. There's the Marc Jacobs logo. I don't know if you can see that, but um, same thing. It has the Marc Jacobs um, print on the inside and then has the little zipper pocket and all that. And also has like two little clips. Um, if you clip it together... It makes the bag like a weird shape. To me, it's a weird shape. I think it's a really odd shape when you clip it together because it looks like this when you clip it together. So it's smaller on the top and I don't really like that. So I usually leave the, leave the clip unlocked, but that's that one. And then I have a Michael Kors bag. Um, I was obsessed with this. I still am. It's like the best bag ever. It holds so much stuff. And I'm really happy about this because I was deciding if I should save money and get something else or get this one. But my best friend had given me a Michael Kors gift card. So I ended up getting a bag because I was... No, no, no. She got me a Michael Kors gift card, but I used that on a watch. Sorry. I guess I just spent money on this. I think I got financial aid or something. And then I was like, oh, well, I might as well buy a bag, right? So instead of getting the Marc Jacobs one because it was a lot more expensive, I got this one. Which is the little, like, city bag, I guess. It's like a... Jet, I think it's called like the Jet, like Michael Kors Jet or something. 
because I guess you bring it on the plane with you. It's a little, this is the smaller version, so it's good because I got the big version of the uh, Marc Jacobs one, but I got the small version of this one, which I did like the big version, but I mean I did have a small, a big one, sorry, a big one of the Marc Jacobs one, so I ended up getting this one in the small. And this one I usually hold like this. It's really cute and tiny. It fits a lot of stuff though. And then I also have the one that I'm currently using, which is a copy of, uh, what's his name? Alexander Wang. And it has the zipper compartment in the front and the studs on the bottom. And this one I really love, but when I have big bags, I put a lot of stuff in it. And right now I have a lot of stuff in my purse. Um, one of my first videos was an updated, like, what was in my purse. And I change my purses a lot. And I like to do what's in my purse videos, so I might do that one again. Um, so I'll probably do that again because... I have different items in here, and I'm actually going to go into depth in the last video. I forgot to show you my wallet and my cell phone. I don't know if any of you guys noticed that, but I did, so I'll probably do that one right after this video. But those are all the purses that I have that I really like or um, that I do use. So thanks for watching my bag collection video, and I will do another one after this. See you later, guys. Bye.